Hi guys, Blue Delta Wolf here with another Sweet 60. This is the green red one. Uh, there aren't any promo cards as far as I know for this deck, so since I've redone all my decks, I've just um I haven't done one for this one yet, so this is my first Sweet 60 for Berserker Rage. Um green and red are my two least favorite mana colors. I don't really like green or red decks very much. I mean, you put them together, and this is a very effective deck. I, I respect this deck. I won't say I like it very much, but I definitely respect its power. So, um, I run two Terramorphic Expanse, because there's not much land gain in this deck. Uh, just to, so you know, the theme of this deck is all about Berserk. This card pretty much sums up what this deck is about. You gain Trample and plus X, where X is your power. So, if you can buff it up first and then use Berserk you get double buffed basically so there's a lot of cards that buff your power in this deck that's the only life gain Rancor, we all know what Rancor does by now gives you trample so it's very effective here's your standard green and red attacks each turn if able, there was a lot of cards with that effect, I took a few of them out that's that famous artwork from the from the intro of the last game. Very cool looking card. Uh, basically what you need to do is you need to pay 7 for this card. It only costs 2x, but if you can pay 7, you get a 10-10. So you get one counter for every x. If you if you pay 5 or more, it doubles up. So very very powerful. Remove a counter to deal one damage to target creature or player. Colossal Might gives you a plus 4-2 and Trample. No one's going to see that coming. So yeah, if you can use Colossal Might and then Berserk, you can just imagine what sort of power you can get. Run four of them. Gruel Guild Mage. Sacrifice lands. I never sacrifice lands unless I have to. So I hardly ever use that effect. But this effect is pretty good. Target creature gets plus 2-2. Two, two. Tatamunge Witch. If, you, if you're getting blocked, each blocked creature gets plus one. He attacks every turn. Buff him up when you need to. Deal three damage to target creature with flying and or target creature without flying. So, very, very effective. Be careful though, because you might have to use it on your own creature if you choose the wrong thing. You can double him up, so... You pay three you get X where X is your power. Now if you buff him up to 8 and your power is 8 pay another 3 it becomes 16. You can see why I ran that guy. All your creatures have haste. Sacrifice this to get plus 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Mage Slayer, I like this card a lot. Uh, whenever your creature attacks it deals its power to target defending player before it's even blocked. So if you can get it up to 20 and just attack you, you win. There you go, more buffing and drawing. Other red creatures get plus one one, other green creatures get plus one one. There's your liege. Always run the liege cards, they're amazing. He gains haste if you sum use red to summon him. There you go, an attacking town, literally. Deals one damage to each player, but it's four for five five, so that's why I run that guy. He can't be counted. Creatures over 5 power can't be counted. Love that card. This one's pretty weird. Enters the count uh, the battlefield with counters on it for each red and which each green you control. But you can remove counters to deal damage. So, oh no, or put saprolings. I think it's your choice. Yeah, deal damage or saprolings. He's your um, artifact enchantment destruction there got to remove minus one minus one counters on him so I like that card he gets stronger as he destroys stuff you can destroy land with that guy very powerful I run quite a lot of high level creatures on this deck because because you can play them you know I quite often I see them on this so uh, it's very effective enchant a creature if it's red and green it gets trample and double strike plus one one and one one be careful when you cast Sheevan Worm. You do need to put a creature back to your hand. Otherwise, you have to put Sheevan Worm back to your hand as soon as you um, summon it. I tried it once with no creatures on the field thinking I wouldn't have to use its effect. 
but no, as soon as you summon him, if there's no creatures there, you've got to bring him straight back. But it's 5 for 7 with Trample, so definitely worth getting up if you can. Whenever a creature you control attacks with Trample, it gets plus 2-2, two, two, including this guy. So he's a 6-6 six, six when he attacks, for the cost of 5. And Borborygmos, took me a while to learn how to say that one. It costs uh, 7 for a 6-7 with Trample. And every time he attacks, put a 1-1 one, one on each creature you control. So very, very, very good card. I did enjoy playing with this deck. It's quite fun to use. It's very strong. Let me know what you think in the comments section, guys. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd appreciate it even more if you could subscribe. Happy face. No, I'm joking. Uh, I'll see you guys in the future. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.